Guess the character. Of course, you know the answer by reading the title. Huge sword, barefoot, and likes cat. Of course, we will talk about our sword whisperer Yunli, and let's talk about her now. Yunli is a sword user following path of destruction, even though she is from Xianzhou Zeming, which has huge fairy furnace and her animation is of fire. She is physical type, no surprise here. They'll encounter damage to enemies, very strong one. Basic attack is just physical damage single target. Skill throw her sword to enemy, dealing plus damage and heals Yunli based on her attack. Ultimate gaining a party state, taunts enemy, and if Yunli get hit on the next turn, she will slash her huge sword and deal additional bounce damage. But if she is not getting the hit, the slash has no bounce damage and also increase crit damage for the next counter. Ultimate has two charges. 120 per ultimate uses, talent is counter, doing plus damage and regen 15 energy, simple as that right? As long as you get hit, yes. Technique, if she gets hit or she hits someone, you can do ultimate counter. Major traces, if your ultimate counter is not bounce version, the next ultimate counter is always the bounce version. Next one, on parry state, crowd control resist and 20% less damage. And last one, 30% more attack after doing counter, last for one turn. Minor traces include crit rate, attack, and HP. And how to play this young lady? You almost always want to be get hit, so you regain your energy more, and she can self sustain with HP negative. Or if you get so much counter from major traces, you can do very SP positive gameplay. And now the light cons choices. Best in slot, dance in sunset, increase her chance to get attacked, and gain more crit damage and follow up damage. Apparently, counter damage is counted as follow up damage. Second best is unreachable sight and brighter than sun. Blade 1 increase crit rate, HP, and damage bonus after getting hit. Emimitar Lune 1 increase crit rate, attack, and energy regen, but you must do basic attack. And next best one is something irreparable and I shall be on my sword, Clara and Jing Yiliu one, consisting of getting hit, doing more damage, and for 4 star option, we have indelible promises, free trade bonus for ultimate, and most welcomes you for attack buff. And for free to play option, we have Horta Shop one, on the fall of Aeon, attack and damage bonus, and for relic set, we have champion of streetwise boxing, attack bonus on getting hit, and nice little physical damage boost. Or the best one, the wind soaring Valorus, follow up increases ultimate damage, and little bonus on attack and crit rate. Planner set, we have not much choice, inner salt soto for general use, crit rate, ultimate and follow up damage, and duran, but you need to ramp up those passive to get 25% crit damage. I don't think other choices here, so let's talk to the next section. Main start for real equipment, we have crit rate or damage body, Attack Boots, Physical Damage Orb, and Attack Cling Group. Crit Rate is higher priority than Crit Damage because she has Crit Damage boost all of her, her kits and her best support also provide that. Then no Speed Boots because her speed is very low already and her damage depends on how much she gets attacked, not how often she gets her turn. Physical Damage Orb, no surprise here, but if you get a good stats on your Attack Orb and your support, provides not much attack, you can go for it. Energy regen link rope, just because her main damage sources is from ultimate, more ultimate means more counter attack, and for substat you want crit ratio at 1 to 1, like 80 to 90 crit rate to somewhere around 90 to 120 crit damage, should be fine. Then attack, that's it. And next Eidolon, we have good and bad Eidolon. Eidolon 1, ultimate counter damage increased by 20% and 3 more bounce damage. Eidolon 2, 20% defense ignore on counter damage. Eidolon 3, ultimate and basic attack level increase. Eidolon 4, after ultimate counter you get 50% effect resist. Eidolon 5, seal and talent level increase. And Eidolon 6, ultimate counter will do bounce version even if the enemy is not dealing damage to Yunli. 
then the ultimate counter will have increased crit rate by 15% and physical resistance penetration by 20% then if you have the money to roll, which is better, Eidolon 1 or Lightcon? Then and such set is definitely the answer because the increased aggro is very rare. We'll talk about it in the, in the synergy section. But if you have energy regeneration like Tingyun or Huo Huo, you can get Eidolon 1 to get more damage out of it. And no, Eidolon 2 is not that worth the money. And please save for the next patch. We have even more interesting character. Next we talk about synergy, it only wants to be played in a hyper carry team or double carry team. For double carry team, we have more 7 imaginary, even though the speed boost is nearly useless on Yunli, crit damage boost is very welcome for Yunli. Then we have Jade, especially if you get Eidolon 1 on Jade, and to pass for follow up debuff very useful. And for buffer slot, we have Robin is top candidate with crit damage boost on follow up attack. Sparkle for damage boost, advanced forward and skill point region, then Tingyun for energy regeneration, and Ronmei for general support, but she is not really the best support here because because the extended break state will potentially making Yunli do counter attack less, and, and for the buffer we have Pella and Silver Wolf just for the basics, defense threat is good in a lot of case, right? I also have Black Swan on this slot because another damage increase and defense threat unit then for sustain unit we don't have much option since adding preservation to the party will decrease the chances of Yunli getting hit so we go for abundance best one is links to give Yunli more chance to get hit and Huo Huo for attack and energy regen then Locha for better healing and other abundance unit is not really having buffing capability like Huo Huo and links besides links is available with her banner for the team example, we have Yunli, Mars 7 Imaginary, Tingyun, and Lengs. Trying to be very free to play here, and if you want premium units more, we have Yunli, Topaz, Robin, and Huo Huo. But actually, Lengs is one of the best units for Yunli, so yeah. Oh, and also, for the hyper carry setups, we have Yunli, Robin, Civil War, and Huo Huo. Very strong unit, whatever the team comp is. Ill fate descend. Descend to earth. 
This is the end of the script. Overall, Yun Li is just an upgraded version of Clara with giant sword instead of giant robot. Her damage potential depends so much on which enemies she face. Enemies with area attack is very preferable. So yeah, that's it for Yun Li guide. Hope you guys having a good day and see you in another guide video.